Uh, turn one down. Or one bites the nose! Hi! 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 What's up guys? I'm Echo, and welcome back to Generation Zero. Now, <laughs> last episode did insanely well, and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what I did different in that episode, but if you know why that episode did much better than a lot of the other episodes do, that the other episodes do just fine, but that episode did insanely well in its first week. Which made me extremely happy, and I think it got us a bunch of subscribers. I'm not 100% because for some reason analytics is being a bitch about showing me that stuff properly, or I'm just an idiot that's not looking in the right place. But if you're new to the channel and you're from that video, hi, thanks for subscribing. I don't know what to say. I did this new to me. I don't have people like subscribing because of my videos, like. I got more subscribers in one week than I have over the few months I've been doing this. Like, I, 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 I don't know what to do. Hello, if you're a new subscriber. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Oh, I was meant to do a greet. Not redoing the intro. But welcome back to Generation Zero. Last episode, we started doing this mission. No, we did one mission... Which was really, really short, so we went ahead and tried doing this mission, which was a little longer simply because of how far I had to go, but it was also still fairly short, you know, not too long. Except, right at the very end, we got screwed over because a toxic runner decided to get right up in my grill and decide, hmm, this looks like a human, let's shoot it. Didn't show, it didn't, it didn't even notify the other giant guys around me it just shot at me and i killed it the radiation's what finished me off which freaking sucked but just in case you didn't see that episode let's go ahead and real quickly reread the notes Hammer a note with a doodle someone wrote a note the windmills the windmills except this time no one will mistake them for giants if anything, the windmills will be our allies against the giants. Go go to the north of Trelvedon, not far from the shore of Keston Ir Ikisen. Trying to learn how to pronounce those. Under the note, a doodle of windmills that appears to be a tank next to it, and a doodle of a human fighting. Oh, the middle one. Note to self, it's the middle one that has the stash, but... Yeah, we're going after Stash, which is extremely useful because I need it. Um, also, I did a little bit of farming in between episodes to get um, just some XP in general. I went back to some of the first areas, and let me just, like, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant here. So, go to this point in time in the episode if you want to just get straight to gameplay. But if you want to sit here and listen to the rant, rant thank you for listening to me blabber on. Uh, but I went back to some of the first areas to farm some easy guys, because there, they're much, much easier to fight than they are around here. Um, but I, I was wandering around a lot of the areas I wandered, I went through to get to where I am now. And so, the developers have updated the game several times since then, and they have put so much freaking detail into there. It is insane. It is so cool how much detail they put, and it it looks really, really nice. It looks amazing. These developers are doing such a great job, and I'm so happy they're getting the um response they deserve. Also, yes, I do know there is a DLC coming out. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try and have the money saved up to get the DLC from them. Speaking of that, if you wanna help support the channel, there is a Patreon in the description. The rewards and everything will be changing because I need to, like, do it a bit more properly. You know, I really didn't think anyone was going to watch my videos enough to matter. So, I didn't really... I put work into it, but not as much as I should have. So, that is down there if you want. Just a buck or two can help. Um, for every single one of them, you will get access to a, a private Patreon Discord which 
you know, then you can talk directly to me. You maybe could get the scoop on what's coming up in the future and what I'm working on, you know, things of that sort, and maybe even some members only videos, which I don't think I can like do that on YouTube just yet, but like I could post them in the Discord for you guys, you know, links to members only videos and stuff of that sort. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, that's down there if you want to help out. Twitch channel is also down there as well. I want to try and start streaming when I can to try and help build up the channel. May occasionally be Generation Zero. I'm not sure. I don't think I'll be doing Generation Zero though on stream. Series is the series does do well on Sundays. Also, yeah, series will always be on Sundays. I I'm trying to get it out on a more on a better time, but you know. Also, um, whenever wandering around, I found a extended magazine for this. I also found, and this would be the point. Anyone who wanted to skip over that would be joining me. Um, a bunch of medkits. Where was it? Oh yeah, it would have been here. I also found. Where is it? This low light vision amplifier. This module amplifies light to allow visibility in low light situations. Pretty good. That would. That's probably actually very very useful in the bunkers whenever it's super freaking dark to get an idea of what the room looks like. It's pretty cool. I think I got it off a hunter, which is pretty good. Um, this is the skills I have put points into so far. Uh, this one down here, I really want to get. Being able to have my own little ticks is going to be so freaking fun. Also, I don't know. Uh, yeah. One damage. Okay, I'm getting distracted again. But, yeah, we're going to head towards the windmills, which are right around here oh yeah i pissed off a lot of the um <laughs> i pissed off a lot of the rivals around here i've been going after them a lot failing not doing very well against them but you know i've been going after him and he's he oh rivals can only get to level four interesting yeah the rivals around here are quite difficult um yeah this is the waypoint where i need to i'm gonna place my own so i don't get off track Note to self, middle windmill has the stash. Okay, let's go ahead and head out then. Also, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed yet, think about subbing to the channel, you know? It just, you know, means you'll see whenever I release videos. I don't only do Generation Zero, I do many other games. Uh, yeah, you'll just be able to know whenever I release an episode. Uh, there's no specific time I release videos right now, because hardware doesn't allow for that. Can you piss off? Like, seriously, piss off. Like, no one likes you. Stop moving, you... Piss off. Christ, what did they bring? Oh, nothing. Thank God. Okay. Thank Christ. Uh, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. A hardware doesn't allow me to really get a good feel for... I'm trying to do things to basically make it so the video is released at a bit of a better time, but... Right now, the hardware I'm using doesn't really allow for that to be such an easy thing to do. Um. <laughs> oh, Christ! Okay, keep an eye on where you're walking. I knew we just went that down that freaking mountainside. Oh, I have to navigate my way down this. This is the part that takes the longest in this entire journey. Is navigating your way down freaking mountainside. Knowing that if you make one wrong step, you're gonna go down the side of this mountain and bust your and eat bark. <laughs> you're gonna eat bark by batching your head off every tree on the way down, because God forbid you won't. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I'm I'm out of the woods. I'm not 
out of the woods yet. Literally, I'm not out of the woods. Figuratively, I am. Even figuratively, I'm not. What the hell am I talking about? I still have to worry about getting shot at because there's still patrols that run through here. Wish I could map out the patrols. That'd be nice. Being able to map out where the patrols go so I know... Or, like, place trackers on them. <gasps> Tracker bullets. That'd be useful. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you could. Uh... <laughs> Devs, I found a break in the world. I don't want to get too close because I fear falling in. Trusting, I seen people fall through less. Oh my god. Oh, that is wow. Oof. That is weird. Oh, I can see an island. Uh, devs. Uh, right, right here. That's where I am. Those, those are my coordinates. If you know, any of you want to see it, and if the developers are watching, which I highly doubt, but if they are, you might want to fix that. Oh, maybe I could use that for the thumbnail. I probably, I got some good shots. I could use that for the thumbnail. I think I'm close. Yeah, I'm almost literally out of the woods. I don't think that guy's going to follow me too far. Biggest problem is this is an open freaking area, which makes it impossible to sneak around. And I don't have my heavy sniper, do I? Oh, look at the lake. Wow, that is gorgeous. Crystal clear. Almost. It's very, very clear. Wow. I wonder if this is based off a real location in Sweden, I believe is where this game takes place. I wonder if this is a real location. Like, is so clear it's almost difficult to tell where the water line is holy crap that's insane you can tell we're definitely not in america i'm gonna have to go around it deads for the love of god please make it so we can swim across bodies of water like this and if you want add a robot that swims a robot that specifically patrols lakes of that sort so you can go around or you can swim across which is quicker but then you also risk getting attacked by them and then getting other things attracted oh and you can only use one-handed weapons whenever you're in there which i think is basically only your sidearms oh shit that's the only type of weapon that is one-handed in this game Though, I did see in the DLC they're going to be adding a melee weapon. I'm sorry, what? I know I made jokes about, like, going up behind the runners and ripping their tanks off, because it seems like you probably could do that. But, like, that's a joke. Or maybe at least a little more possible. I don't understand a melee weapon, but I do believe they also mentioned they're adding a new type of, um... A new type of robot, so... Maybe? I'm not sure. I do want to play it. It'd probably be like a 10 episode like side series, I guess you could say. I'm not sure if it would be technically part of the main series or if I'd put it off to the side. Like, not off to the side, like not do it, but like off to the side in terms of like it just being like in a separate playlist. It's technically not part of the main series. It's part of a it's like its own little thing based around that. I'm not sure what I'll do. Oh, I see them. Big guys. So freaking cool. I love them. And it's the end of the last episode all over again. Except with much bigger and much more dangerous robots. Ow! Shit! Oh, um, hmm. Uh, problem. I'm, I'm... Oh, you, you tits, you tits. Oh, you, you freaking tits. Go, 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 go. Fuck. There's a big guy behind me. <laughs> they freaking knocked me into the water and I couldn't get out. Oh, how did I survive that? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, you dollar store Marty McFly. Keep running, keep running. 
I can feel those bullets grazing my ass. Ooh, house, house, house. I can take a second in there. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't. Ooh. Oh, my God. One stray bullet can kill me right now. In the house, in the house. Go, 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 go. I, I, safe house. Oh, well, thank you. I needed that. Oh, I'm in a, I'm in a different area entirely. Whoops. That's where I was supposed to be going, but whatever. I was trying to avoid getting seen, and yet I got seen by everything. <sighs> Are they fucking off? I don't think they're fucking off just yet, but they're close to it. As long as they don't see me. Hi! We're not open. I said we're not open! What do you tits not understand about that? We're not open for business. You're supposed to stay six feet away. Uh, what? I got a note. Uh, I just got a mission. Okay, uh, thank you, I'll, I'll read, I'll read about that, but like, can, I think I just got a new mission. I know I should probably go towards the bunker, but considering my past experience, I probably should spend the next few episodes, like, working on the stuff, but I don't think I'm ready to take on another bunker. Seriously, nothing in here except for a freaking mission? Are you kidding me? What? I do have a box, so I have access to everything I own. Oh, where's my grenades? Found them. Oh, let's see them deal with this. Uh, just don't throw one at yourself. I know I'll end up doing that. It's gonna be hilarious for you guys, but it's gonna piss me off. Okay. Hello? Hi. I think that dealt with them. Uh, another one down. Oh, one bites the dust! Hi! 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 Ooh, good. Open the door. I hate the freaking tickets. Okay, they can't get upstairs. I'm good as long as I'm upstairs. Oh. That didn't work out as planned. Oh, you're still alive? Did he just blow himself up? I won that kill. Am I getting shot at? Are you kidding me? Really? Reinforcements? Not even good ones. These are orange. Come on, guys. If you're gonna call in reinforcements, don't call in Trump's reinforcements. What the hell do you think you're doing? Is that in bad taste? Uh, probably. Ah. Hi. Anyone else? I'm good to go if you want to. I'm ready for round three. Or is it round four? Am I on round four or round three? Probably round four. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab my sniper. Hard to tell the dead ones versus the living ones sometimes. Considering both are about as inept as each other, yeah, it can be difficult to tell. Be good. I mean, I'm not bad at the combat. Like, I'm good. Just don't think I'm ready for a bunker. Is the thing. 
I can handle some things, but bunker, I'm not so sure about. Let's out of that ammo for this. Really don't want to be using anything under four stars. Three stars, not four stars. But I do have a shotgun that I got. Um, I think I have a screenshot of where I got it from. Oh, it would be on screen right now, but... I found this in a church when searching around. 12 gauge. Oh, really? I thought I had it in green variety. No. Oh, no, wait. Yes, I do. Okay, I'll take that. Um, I think I have all my ammo on me. Nope. I mean, kind of. Uh, <gasps> I have so much big boy ammo sitting in here. Let's do it. Equip it on top of this for right now. Okay. Got myself a new shotgun equipped. I've never used this before, so I don't really know how exactly it works, but it couldn't be that bad, you know. I use worse guns. I do want to one day kind of, um. Like, maybe when the series gets close to ending, which I'm not sure when that will be, but. Like, once we get to that point, I kind of want to, like, do a bit of a walkthrough of many of the important locations throughout this series. Many of the locations have great, like, substantial, you know, memories to them. You know, places where I found some of my first guns, places where I got some of my best guns, places where I got, places where very funny and interesting things happen. You know, stuff of that sort. Just kind of do a walk down memory lane for one of the final episodes of this series. Which, I don't know when that would be. I don't know how much... I think there's like 60 hours of content, and they're like adding more now. With the new DLC and stuff, but like, I don't know. I honestly don't know how long this series could go for. I guess it goes for as long as you guys want to see more of it. I... Hmm. I don't commonly do this, but I feel like I kind of deserve to a small bit. Um, if you want to see more of the series and you're this far into the episode, think about clicking the like button. Um, I didn't, I started doing like one episode per, like one mission per episode, because the missions had started getting like more and more difficult, but like, I didn't find side missions and stuff. Like, I think I found a mission like from very, very far back, so... It would probably be a pretty easy mission to do, but, you know, think about clicking the like button if you want to see more of this. Ah, there they are. Nice, bright, sunny day to get into one hell of a fight. Oh. They are still there, so they're definitely guarding that stash. Oh my god. This is not going to be easy. At least we know which one to go for now. Oh, I really don't want to have to fight them. I really, really don't want to fight them. I don't think I really get a choice if I want that stash. Yep, I don't get a choice. Okay, I'm running for the middle one. Going for it, going for it, going for it. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what I'm doing! They weren't specific! Okay, the windmill's protecting me. Okay, let's try out the new shotgun. What was that? Are those? Oh, those are the feet of a big boy. Hi, hi. Oh, I'm surrounded. Oh, hi. I am completely surrounded right now. Hi. Did he just step on him? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, I found the stash. 
Is that a landmine? Oh, I think that is. Um, can you guys fuck off for like five seconds, please? Oh, I really don't want to throw a grenade there. I really, really do. Ow, 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 ow. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I like a little jump. Okay. Ooh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh my god, this thing is incredible. Snotty, right, IGP named this thing the Snotty because it's like a sniper shotgun. It's like a combat, basically. Oh, I so want a better version of this. I nab that health kit. There's a field radio over there as well. This situation seems familiar, doesn't it? I feel like this happened once already. It's really something very similar to this. How do I always end up in these positions? Not just do that. I think I'm stuck. I've managed to get myself stuck. Uh, can you help me? I think I need my life alert. How the hell did I manage this one? Well, that killed me. That's actually kind of a good thing, because I was just purely stuck there. There was no getting out of that one. I don't even know how I managed to do it. All I did was try and go under the other part of it, and I just got stuck. I don't even know how or why. Ow. It's fine, though. I majorly hurt them. And I figured out where the stash is. It looked like there was a landmine under there. Which there is, ooh, is one hell of a find. I've been wanting to figure out where to find those forever now. Oh, got that one in the face. Ow! Get up, 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 get up. Damn it. I'm not leaving here until I have that fucking stash. I don't care how long it takes, I will have that stash by the end of this. a better one. There's some ammo and stuff from that guy. Okay. Start this off strong. Hi! Oh. Really want to take this stuff, but I don't think it's going to be any use to go. I will take the ammo and the field radio and the health. Ah, fuck it. I'll take everything. I'll take the landmines. Thank you. I will take all of this. Hello. Got one. Actually, two. Technically, that's the second one I've brought down. Hey. Brought him down. And for anyone who's curious of why I didn't just run after defeating the first after grabbing the stash why I didn't just run it's because at this point it's about principle it's not just about what's easy now now it's about principle fuck you guys fuck you iron low light visual amplifier um ooh electron pulse rounds those sound useful thank you 
And what do you have for me? A um, bunch of ammo, explosive tank, healing, large fuel cell. Interesting. Okay, okay. Now go deal with this one over here, because those weren't the only ones. Where is he? I know there's another injured one roaming around here somewhere. Is that him? I don't have my, um, knocker equipped. Let's actually try out this, these new ones, these dual ones. Dual mode, low light and IR. Under, okay. Um, let's try this one out. Okay, so now I have night vision, thermal vision, which, wow, and tech view, okay. 60%, yep, that's him. That's the asshole. Come on. Come on, big boy, get your ass over here. Don't just fire rockets from a distance. Get your ass over here. Oh, you're gonna make me come to you, aren't you? Okay. Let's play your little game. Ow. Okay, that didn't work. And down the hill we go. That's a concussion and a half. Nah. Okay, now I'll now I will abandon it because it's not worth it. Ugh, I'm not wasting my adrenaline shot on that. That was fun. Still haven't leveled up though, sadly. Oh, I did. I didn't even realize. Okay, let's go ahead. While the engineer specialist is active, the player may scavenge undamaged tick pods from enemies and use them to deploy ticks that attack enemies. Only one special specialist may be activated at a time. I really want to get that. And at the same time, this would be... There's a bunch of other stuff I need, like getting... Moving down this way, down this will kind of help, but at the same time, ticks seem like fun. While players stand from attacks, let's do intel. That feels like a smart one to go for. Hi. Christ. Okay. I just want to test out the tech view. It's... You know, that's... They wasted a point there. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think you're doing? Piss off! This is a safe house. Listen, what did I get that for? Can you guys go away? This is supposed to be a safe house, not where you can attack me. Honestly, these damn neighborhood kids are just destroying my house. I'm trying to sit here and read my book. I know it's underneath me, but shut up. Try and sit here and read my book, and these damn neighborhood kids won't fuck off. Do I need to shoot at you again? Stop me, Joe. It's like that. Can they go away, please? I want to go on another mission. In the ruin camps. The soldier said, I can't remember the farm. The note says, Hey, Hannah, I just saw a soldier carrying equipment to the ruins up north. Call me. Call me. Paranoid, but I see that as a bad sign. Please be careful. Up to the north is. Nope. Um, yes, there we go. That means we should go up north to try and find soldier camps, because they tend to have pretty good stuff in them. And also resort out my inventory a bit. And put some stuff away, because god, I have too much stuff in on my person. Last time I did a mission like this, where it led me to abandon ruins, 
very close to the safe house I got the mission from. I got one of my favorite snipers, the, um, Astigan, something like that. Search the ruins for soldiers, for the soldiers' camp. That's when I got that, so I'm actually kind of excited that I might get something new here. Oh, we're good. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, here's the camp, and there's the weapon. Thank you. Oof. What did you give me? I mean, I'm sorry for messing with your dead body, but... Okay, um... <gasps> Crafting is done, but at the crafting center, I still have a press required schematic. I found a schematic! I finally get to craft something! Oh my god, and what did I just... Yes! Yes! It's a better version of this rifle! I've been wanting one of these. I think it had, like, a scope already. Yes! A purple scope! Holy crap! Give me that! I'll take that off of you. Oh my god, and it can use these! I didn't know that! Okay, so it has to be a good enough gun to be able to use the modules. Okay, so that's why I haven't been able to use them. Yes! I'm so happy! I'm like a kid on Christmas morning! Oh my god, look at that scope! Oh, it is incredible! I'm so happy! And I can do some crafting! I'm like a kid on Christmas morning right now! Uh, fast travel. Oh my god! I'm sorry if you guys are not as excited as I am, but I am super excited. Okay, no wait, this place won't have it. I need to go to one of my bunkers. Okay, yeah, this one should have it. Oh! I'm so happy! Oh my god! This is so cool! Okay, um... Where are the, um, crafting stations in- I think they're in here? Shit, this one doesn't have them. Oh, no, wait. No, way! I see it. I see him. Okay. Uh, you're the recycling station. You're the crafting station. Okay. No schematics available. Jackets. Okay, it's a shirt that I have a schematic available. Use schematics. Um, apparel crafting schematic that adds visual camouflage. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. I think I get it. I think I understand. So, you find the schematics for the upgrades, and then you apply that to whatever clothes you want, as long as you have the resources. And you can just infinitely use it, because you wouldn't even be using up the schematic. Okay. Well, I'd have to f write down and find everything that I'm using, specifically on my character. Okay, okay, I'll get that sorted out, um, I'll get all of that ready and sorted out in between episodes, but first, before I end off the episode, I want to go back to the first area, the area where you start this game off, I want to go back there and show it to you guys, because a lot about it has changed, and I really want to show it to you. Like, the developers have done some amazing work over the past few updates, but we haven't had a reason to go back there, so I want to go back there, but... For people who really don't care about that, this, there's a time right here, you can skip to that, that will bring you to the outro, you get to have all of that, you get to click on the boxes, whatever you want, but I'll, for the people who do care, I want to show you these things. Okay, we're good? We're good. I wanted to show these things to you guys, because I haven't really ever been back here, but... These are things I really feel like I should show you because the developers put so much time and effort into these things, doing the little details. And like at the beginning of this episode, 
are close to it. You remember I showed you that little glitch in the ground? Well, yeah, that's a minor thing, but they're just not over to that area yet. They're not over there, but if I show you this, you'll see, especially if you compare the first episode to this one, you'll see the amount of difference in detail and just how much more there is. And it's just so incredible how much time and effort they put into it. And it's nostalgic for me to come to these places and see these things because I haven't been here for oh, so, so long. Just to see little details they do. It's incredible and it shows they really care about the game. And to think how, how good this game runs, especially on a PlayStation, how good this runs and how many little intricate things they do. It's incredible. Like this, look. There's blood here and everything. Like, someone could easily overlook that. The light hanging from the ceiling. The dead robots. This was the first robot we ever saw. Which indicated something was going on. Like, you go up here and follow the bloody handprints. It was incredible. Um, oh, no wait, that's fine. I thought that was glitch a little. But it just shows the amount of detail the developers give to this and we were searching this house with nothing we didn't even have a pistol yet and like, this pistol I have now this is incredibly better than what we were given at the start but like just the amount of detail they put into these places like, I'm, I'm almost certain there's not really gonna be a whole lot here for me simply because you know it doesn't really give much stuff that's useful for me but I mean look at this you can go in here now. You couldn't before, I don't think. I mean, this place was a closed off. I think I even tried it in the first episode, and I just couldn't get through. And it's just so nice to see these little details. Little things they do. It's just incredible. I remember being terrified of what could be out here. What could attack me. It was just so terrifying. And now to do this again, and see these little details, and see these things, like... This hasn't exactly changed too much from what it was, but, like, I mean, this person's still here. I didn't even know she was a chick. Huh. Actually, I don't think there was a body here. I think we just got our gun from this. Like, the little details are so nice. And then we come out of the forest, heading towards the church. Being told that if we want the church, we're gonna have to clear out the robots. Which was extremely scary, because... I think I may have had a normal gun by that point, but not very good ones. It took forever to take these guys down. Now I have guns that can take them down in less than half a magazine. You take them down, you win, you get your XP, you feel so good about yourself. You walk up to the church, go in, and see no people. Which saddens you a little bit, but it's still nice. You know, you get your ammo, you get your storage. You know, this is your first safe house. I know there was a safe house before this, but first proper safe house with a storage box and everything. It's just so great. And from here, you continue your journey down a marvelous path. And it's just so detailed and incredible. It's amazing. They put so much work, time, and effort into it. And I love it. I love it so much. I remember coming here for the first time in... Well, yes, it hasn't changed much from back then, but it has changed a decent bit. It's more detailed than before. It used to be very, very empty and bland. Like, I can almost promise you this truck now has stuff back here. This was an empty truck before, and now look at this. A bunch of stuff in here. It's minor, but it shows they care. It shows that they care about the... Again, with the getting stuck getting a little annoying but it shows they care about us and everything it shows that they care about detail and the world they're creating and wanting to make it incredibly detailed which i love 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 that so much that they're willing to put the time and effort in for something game how much time and effort they're willing to put into something in a video game it's just Incredible. I, I know I don't exactly sound like it, but it is incredible. It's nice. Like, well, there's so much stuff lying around. The stuff didn't used to be here. All little things lying around here. The suitcases, the varieties increase. Like, if I come out here, look at this. 
This is so much different than what it used to be. So many little details added to it. It's just really, really nice. And I feel like not a whole lot of people point these things out. Not a whole lot of people point out the work and time and effort they put into these things. But I want to point it out because it's nice. I feel like they worked hard on these things and they deserve recognition. You know, just clothes on the ground alone just add more life to this place. It just makes you feel like you're alone, but also makes you feel like there's a world around it that's incredibly detailed. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. None of it needs to be here, and yet they still did it because it just adds to the world. Even the dead robots, the robots that are already dead, these don't need to be here, and yet they still did it because it adds life and detail. This camper van doesn't need to be here, but it is. You know, they do these things because it adds life to the world, and that makes you really happy that they put that time and work and effort into it. Like the boarded up windows and doors, you know. Yeah, it's also to save on space, you know, make the game run a little better, but at the same time, it still just adds to it. I remember coming to this area for the first time, and like, I think this was where I encountered my first hunters, and my first, um, shotgun, uh, runners, and seeing the tanks and everything around here and being so cautious about everything, I mean, it's incredible. So much of this wasn't here, like, the dead robots weren't lying around, so much of it has changed, and it's just so freaking cool. Like this, this was my first encounter with one of these. I'd never seen one beforehand. Some of these dickweeds. Just so freaking cool. I love it. I'm glad the developers are still working on areas that a lot of it's... A lot of the people that play this game, I'm not sure they ever see these past this point. So, I'm glad they're doing these things for the new players, the players that have never seen this game before. It's really nice. It gives them a nice, fun, lively introduction into this world. Everything. The... That's an odd rock. But, for right now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been a whole lot of fun. I love this game so freaking much. But, for right now, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, think about clicking that box there to watch the first episode. Generation Zero and the rest of the episodes before it and after it. It would only be after it. God, what am I saying? That box there will take you to my other latest upload. That box above it will take you to what YouTube recommends. And then that bubble in the corner will take you to my channel where you can think about subscribing. Also, Twitch and Patreon down in the description if you want to look into those things. I'd suggest not doing much with Patreon for right now. If you're thinking about it, wait a little for me to get in there and kind of rework things and everything like that get you know better things going but for right now hope you guys enjoyed we did then be good be well and i will see you next time goodbye